In English class, why do dogs like conjunctions? Because dogs love butts. Bruh. The Bedlington Terrier is a breed of small dog named after the mining town of Bedlington, Northumberland in Northeast England. Originally bred to hunt, the Bedlington Terrier has since been used in dog racing, numerous dog sports, as well as in confirmation shows and as a companion dog. It is closely related to the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, Whippet and Otterhound. The Bedlington Terrier has been described as resembling a lamb. It has also been compared to a miniature version of the Scottish Deerhound. George Shields stated that exceedingly well-bred dogs possess the spirit of a thoroughbred racehorse. The dogs have blue, liver or sandy coloration, all three of which may have tan points. Bedlingtons carry what is known as the graying gene, a dominant trait carried on the G. locus. This gene causes puppies born with black or dark brown fur to lighten to gray or liver with age. The fur of the Bedlington creates a shape on the top of the dog's head known as a topknot. Although most modern breed standards call for the dog's topknot to be lighter than its body, when the breed was first being formed there was at least one prominent breeder, Mr. Pickett, who believed that the topknot should be darker, not lighter. The head of the dog must be rounded in shape with no stop. Their eyes are almond-shaped and small, and the lips are close-fitting and lack flues. The back must be arched, and the body should be slightly longer in length than in height. Although 16.5 inches 42 centimeters, is the preferred height for male dogs, a range from 16 to 17.5 inches 41 to 44 centimeters, is allowed. For females, the preferred height is 15.5 inches 39 centimeters, and the acceptable range is from 15 to 16.5 inches 38 to 42 centimeters. Both genders must weigh between 17 and 23 pounds, 7.7 and 10.4 kilograms. They possess a light, springy gait. When he's raised with children, the Bedlington can be an energetic playmate. He's probably best suited to homes with older children. While a Bedlington will tolerate a certain amount of rough handling, he will set limits when things get too rough, and he doesn't understand that a child's skin isn't as tough as another dog's. Bedlingtons can get along with other dogs, especially if they're raised with them, but they may be aggressive toward dogs of the same sex. And like most terriers, they might not start a fight but they won't back down from one. Bedlingtons can be fierce fighters if aroused, so be cautious when introducing them to new canine companions, especially other adults of the same sex. Male Bedlingtons especially will persist in a fight until major damage is done. A Bedlington might learn to get along with your indoor cat if he's raised with him, but outdoor cats and other animals will be fair game for him to chase. Median longevity of Bedlington Terriers, based on two recent UK surveys, is about 13.5 years. The Bedlington Terrier average prices is around $1,500. This is an average price for a dog, especially for a purebred Bedlington Terrier price. What do a dog and a marine biologist have in common? One wags a tail, and the other tags a whale. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more bad jokes and general knowledge about dogs.